Hello YouTube, AJ here. I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. Uh, today I thought I would uh, be in the kitchen again, as you can see, um, or yogurt. And uh, it's very easy, very inexpensive. You get a high quality product um, for about half the price you would um, get it buying it in the store. And it's very easy to make, very simple, especially this time of year where it's uh, uh, around 30 degrees Celsius outside, which would be about mm, hot in Fahrenheit. Sorry for my American friends who are uh, celebrating the Independence Day, 4th of July this weekend, uh, for not knowing the conversion. Uh, you can also see that uh, my wife is dehydrating some strawberries. We it's strawberry season here in the valley, and we've uh, we picked a couple of flats at a local U pick. Uh, that's cheaper for us than going and buying it off a truck or local grocery store. Anyway, back to yogurt. Uh, yogurt. All you'll need is uh, skim milk powder. Uh, milk any any type of milk will do um, we prefer the uh, whole milk or homogenized milk which is 3.25 percent milk fat just gives a, a, a creamier product um, you can if you wish add uh, one probiotic which will um, a lot of yogurt now has probiotics good for you and I've also had some uh, yogurt from my last batch sitting here at room temperature for uh, or coming up to room temperature for a couple of hours so what I will do is I my oven is on and I uh, the ovens not on the light in the oven is on the light in the oven is on uh, which will keep it at around uh, 30 degrees Celsius uh, which is perfect for uh, for incubating the the yogurt. I'll turn the stove on to to about uh, medium high heat. And what we're going to do is pour the milk into the pan, and we're going to stir constantly and bring the temperature of the milk up to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and I have a trusty thermometer here uh, to tell me when to do that. And this is quite a lengthy process, so let me uh, get the milk in the pan, and uh, we'll we'll come back in just a few moments. Okay, so here we have the milk in the pan, and is heating up. And every so often, we're going to check the temperature. Uh, to make sure that we don't scald the milk. Usually what will happen is the milk will turn quite uh, bubbly and steamy when it's approaching the 185 degree Fahrenheit range. And what I will do um, in the meantime is set up a ice water bath in my sink because we want to bring that heat uh, or the temperature down to about 115 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit um, before we add any of our skim milk, powder, yogurt, or probiotic because it will kill those cultures um, and we won't have yogurt. So we'll, uh, we'll check back in periodically and see how the temperature is rising and uh, we'll be back in a moment. Okay, the temperature is now rose to about 130 degrees and climbing still. Um, I just wanted to also uh, let you know that if you don't have any homemade milk yogurt, and of course you're probably watching this video because you want to learn how to make yogurt, um, if you get any plain uh, yogurt with active cultures uh, listed in the ingredients, you can use that as your starter. Um, you need about three heaping tablespoons uh, for about two liters of milk, and that should be enough to uh, start the fermentation process. and uh, give you a nice thick yogurt. Uh, of course, the more uh, tangy uh, you like the yogurt, the longer you would let it incubate. I, I like a, a really tangy, um, thick yogurt. And uh, so I let mine incubate uh, or ferment 
for uh, well over 12 hours. Uh, right now it is about uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon and once this goes in the oven for incubation uh, and fermentation, I'll leave it in there until first thing tomorrow morning and then put it in my refrigerator for about three hours to help it to stop the fermentation um, and also to help thicken it up even more. Um, of course, you will get some whey separation uh, and that's what the water will be on top uh, of your yogurt once it has been sitting in the refrigerator for, for a little while. Yogurt is also good for um, about a week, homemade yogurt. There's no preservatives, of course, in this yogurt. And uh, we'll come back when it reaches 185 uh, degrees Fahrenheit and put it in the ice bath. Be right back. Okay, we're bringing this over to the ice bath now. You can see that it's really nice and frothy. And we'll just sit it in there. And we'll stir. And I'll grab my thermometer. And we'll keep an eye on that um, until it reaches the 115 degree Fahrenheit mark. And then we'll come back to the stove. Okay, so we're, we're back and uh, our temperature is right around 116. And so we'll, we'll get rid of the spoon and we'll, we'll switch to a wick. I'll get out my handy dandy measuring spoon. milk powder, however you want to say it, and we'll whisk that in really well. Keep the uh, thermometer anymore, so we'll set that aside. We'll also take, uh, this is a probiotic, and uh, I'll just take one capsule. Dump that in. Stir it up. You don't have to do the uh, the probiotic by any means. Um, my daughter takes probiotics, and uh, due to an illness, and so anything that we can add probiotic to uh, is an added benefit, and. Uh, us, uh, the rest of the family also gain that, that benefit of the probiotic being in there. Okay, that's all nicely stirred in. Get uh, a rubber spatula. And uh, this is what I had left over uh, from the last batch of yogurt. You can see that the whey has separated, uh, but it's, it's still quite thick and it's been sitting out for a couple of hours now to uh, gain room temperature. Uh, this is about three to four uh, heaping tablespoons of, of yogurt and I'll just pour that in and of course get it all over myself. That's the beauty of YouTube. You don't have to be a professional. And again, Stir that in really well so it's uh, thoroughly mixed. That should be good. Set the uh, spatula aside. And what I have here is just a glass Pyrex dish that I'm going to transfer the yogurt into. Trying very hard not to uh, Fill it. And pour 
looks like you would have my spatula I need to think already. Just want to make sure I get all that uh, milk in there at uh, two dollars a liter here uh, in the valley. Milk is uh, quite expensive. Uh, I've been to the States a couple of times and uh, you guys have really good prices on your milk. Um, so yogurt would even be cheaper for you in, in the United States and other parts of Canada I'm sure. Okay, that's all scooped out. Perfect. Now what we want to do is I've got a rubber lid for my Pyrex. Snap that off. And then I have a towel, a beach towel. Any towel will do. And this is just to insulate the yogurt as it's fermenting and then uh, I'm going to put it in the oven. Make sure you don't touch the light that is on because uh, that will that will become a fire hazard. And we'll set that in the oven. And just right there, we'll close her up tight and we'll come back in the morning and uh, see what we have for uh, a product. Okay, so it's now 8 o'clock in the morning and our yogurt should be done. So I'll set up the camera and uh, we'll take out the yogurt from the oven and see exactly what we have. You can see here that the yogurt has set up, it's quite firm, and we have some water separation. I'll grab a spoon, and this will, this will firm up even more uh, once in the fridge and setting. That's really good. So yogurt's really easy to make, inexpensive, and uh, a healthy alternative to the preserved the yogurt that you would buy in stores with uh, preservatives and uh, and other things added that uh, you wouldn't want to eat. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment below. Of course, you can always stir in. Uh, homemade strawberry jam or fresh fruit or add a little vanilla uh, to your yogurt if, uh, if that's what you, you like. You like uh, sweetened or flavored yogurt, um, that's a great way to, uh, to get homemade fresh yogurt in and also to um, get fresh fruit into your diet. So have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.